There's Linky. They put a, um, a electronic box here to control everything you do, how much electricity, the whole internet is total control. And many French people, they don't like it. And here, it's the same thing here. You see, why do they put the, the dot here in red? Because one side has a square and the other side has a circle. It says square and compass. And here's the octagon with the concept of four in the middle and eight things around it and another four little things and there's a circle in it. So there's the concept of three, the concept of four, there's octagon. And you get all these colors here. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, listen, it's another storm here. Really bad. They said it's gonna be wind winds up to uh, 200 kilometers an hour. I'm glad I'm inside. Um, I've, I, I was in my tent last year and I had so many storms. I, I listen to it. This is not normal, you know. Normally, if there's a storm, you know, the natural way, that means it, the wind is going from a warm air to a colder air. Normally, it's brought like if there's by the, the Gulf Stream, like from Florida getting here in Europe, you know, like warm air, suddenly in the middle of the winter, you know. But this is not normal. Like, every week there's a storm, almost, you know. There was a storm like last week, and there's another one. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. The air can also be moved by electricity. We've got the whole air full of um, Wi-Fi, cell phones uh, and whatever you know military stuff and all that um, it's all electric this is an electric storm everything is they're destroying it listen to this they're destroying everything you know? so the wind can also move like from electric plus or electric minus and this is what we're seeing today it's misery all this wi-fi i mean you can have a cable i don't have a cell phone it kills everything you saw my video about the um what they did with the uh, the 5g with the dolphins i made that video about the um the bees Getting killed because of cell phones. Now well, it's gone, it was on my Gure channel. It's not normal, folks. Look, the concept of three must be something official, eh? That's the library. You know, this is the big street here. Well, big, I mean, main street. Church. Uh, mourning the dead. Yeah, 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 of course. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, look, real estate. It's like banks, you know, and you see the concept of four. And two hands, Freemasonry. And there's a circle underneath, so it says the concept of three and the concept of four. Right? It's everything, you know, everything belongs to them, you know. Look, a house with owls, Freemasonry, you know. Where is it? Lost it. Oh, there it is. Look. You see? You know, Nazis, Romans, you name it. It's full of it, eh? So when the war's coming up, you know, they're not going to kill the people inside. They're going to do the rest of the lot here, eh? but not inside, you see? Yeah, look, number 33, there's, it's a big one, eh? Yeah, look. Come on. It's a big one. 
Number 33, I just had to pu pull my thumb out, eh? But they're not stopping anyway, you know. It's a big one with his owls and all that. Big Freemason. It's probably his house is probably 22, but he definitely changed the number. You know, over there is probably 21 or something, you know. Yeah, look, and it says something with a cross. La Croix Chaumé. I don't know what that means. Probably a Templar's. Well, I think it's a sort of a Templar's cross, eh? Hello. Hello. What's up? Yeah, look at this. LGBT colors, and it has the uh, the boy lovers symbol, and it says a six, like six, six, six. Yeah, here's a six. It's almost that sign, even the Pope had it, eh? Why is there six on it here? This one here? Oh yeah, that's uh, two ovals here, or two circles. Not connecting yet. Across the uh, the Freemason. Yeah. Yeah, look, the bloke also has uh, like four green lizards here. There's one. I can't see what it looks like. Yeah, well, there's one. Nice dog there, a little poodle or something, or a cat. Oh, damn reptilians, eh? They put a reptiles on, eh? Well, a nice animal, you know, a nice cozy animal or something, you know? And here, look how blood is here. Our just the, the grail, our descendants is here. You know? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere, folks. Still this one, look, this one has a square and a circle. I, oh. Oh, look, is that what I told you? You know, look at uh, this house number is 29. Look, I'll show you, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing like in between. There's no house here, you know. And then you get that, that house there. It skips one house, there's nothing, see. You just needed to have the number 33, it's probably the mayor. You know, just super powerful, eh. See, there's nothing. 29. Oh, there you go. Guy with his falcons. It's a falcon, eh? It's Horus, eh? Of course. Oh, I didn't tell you. Well, the Roman eagle is a falcon anyway. The German eagle? No, I don't say the German eagle. I say the Nazi eagle. The German people didn't know a clue. They didn't have a clue what's going on. So I'm going to hitchhike here. Yeah? Look, first thing I see. Look at the logo here. You see the circle for the compass? And there's the concept of three and it's horizontal in red. Actually red should be vertical, but it doesn't matter. It's always red and white anyway, you know. So there should be the concept of four as well, somewhere. I don't see it, but maybe it's not always. Anyway, the concept of three is them the circle, the compass is them. We are the square, the slaves. So I got invited here by a nice Arab. And uh, you know what's interesting here? You see all these crowns here. And there too, it's full of crowns. Because it's called here the, uh, the, uh, the Burger King, as you can see there. It's always the king, you know, the crown. You see, this crown here has a lot of concept of three and a concept of four. Triangles and squares. Why they don't make it round, eh? Uh, actually, the name Burger is from Hamburg, which is a town in Germany. And a Burg, a Burg, it means a castle. And Ham is an old Germanic word for a harbor, like Hafen, Ham, Hafen in German. And uh, so a hamburger actually means the, uh, a castle where a harbour is and then the king. It's always the king, you know, it's always... Uh, this is interesting, we see the, uh, the Templar V, 
There it is. Now, why they make it the V in another color, you know? Templates. And we got this this one here. Look. So there are three lines, and one is one of four, and one is different. So it's differentiated between the concept of three and the concept of four. And of course, the red one is the old world's order, and it's like it's, it should be vertical. So this thing just came down, you see? And it's a distinction between the three and the four. So it's everywhere. It's all kings and Freemasons and pharaohs. Hey, and homie Ross, I'm not going to bow to the king, hey. Hello people, you all see this, look, it's the square and compass here, the circle is the compass, and there shouldn't be the, uh, the horizontal line over here, but it is to make the square, and that's why they make it in all the colors, so this is red and white and the Templars colors, it's everywhere. Okay people, here's another one, you all see the red circle for the compass? And um, there's a square. Oh, it's difficult. It's it's not focusing in. You see the square. So it says square and compass. And the the black. What do I see? The black. Well, anyway, there's square and compass. Eh? Oh, look at this one, people. Look, you see the SS sign. There's only one here. I showed it in my film. The neutral base of the master race. There are two pyramids in it, in the colors red, white and blue. It's always the same people, you dumb slaves. Hey? And this remembers me on the uh, Le Refuge Solvé, the guy hanging on the mountain like, you know. Now, now he's got a internet corner here. Now, business pro. And even here they show the concept of four, there you got the four. And here you got the three and the four as well. You know, if it's full, it would be four. And uh, here you can see three, the one's half full. Here as well. <clears throat> Concept of three and four in a circle. It's everywhere, folks. Our masters, hey. Business pro. And if you want to make your own business, you know what they're going to take, eh? They have a little Wi Fi corner. Nice, though. I'm going to sandwich the nice Arab gave me. Look, I'm in my tent. I've got my ultraviolet uh, filter on. So, yeah. You know, if I take it away, you get like this. Yeah, like this. So, anyway, so now I turn it off. Look, you see what's there? <laughs> Bloody European community. <laughs> Uh, oh, it doesn't focus in, eh? Nah, no. You can see it or not. Come on, takes time, eh? Hey, I have to do it again tomorrow. That's the building of the European community. Eh? It's because of the light. It does. Yeah, now it does. Look. You see? Now I'm sleeping next to it. <laughs> If I would be sleeping real next to it, you know, well, it's focusing in on the uh, on all the fences here. I show it tomorrow. Yeah. So there's a little tennis court here. Yeah. Game set and match for Mr. Ross. <laughs> yeah, look, maybe you can see it now. Look. There it is. Out of my tent. European community building. <laughs> oh. Oh. In my tent. <laughs> that thing is heavily guarded, man. Yeah. Me. No. 
I got the fence in between there. Uh. Pharaoh. Me. Just next to it. <laughs> uh. Uh, look, this one has the G of the Freemasons in it, the, uh, the number 7 with a circle. And it has the wings of Ma'at, the goddess, eh? The one, the one who gave you the, uh, the Ten Commandments, like to obey and be an uh, obedient little boy, eh? Take it all, you know, while they're killing your sons and brothers and fathers, and don't do their thing back, eh? Stern your other bloody cheek, like. I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. No. It's me. There's no G here, no Ma'at. You get lost with your Ten Commandments. Look, there's some homeless living here, eh? Look, under the bridge. Even got a little breakfast table, like. The cupboard to put the beer in. <laughs> under the other bridge there were tents. I was here at the dentist, you see the G and the 7, part of the 7 is like a circle and the other one is it's in red and white and it has a double M. Now, now there was the lamp shining in my face at the dentist chair, yeah? and I see that shit everywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just got my tooth fixed. A broker, they have these special cakes here with a stone in it in France. A king, a galette du roi. I broke the teeth on it. You know, it's, the G's even in a Freemason G in another color. And the G's the seventh letter. And here's the seven. It's everywhere, folks. So this enterprise, you know, it belongs to the, to the Freemason boys. Okay, people, I'm hitchhiking again. A nice French person here. And look at this here. You see there's four things there around it, it's the concept of four. The whole thing is like in two squares, and there's the square for the square and compass, and the circle is the compass. It's everywhere, folks. Right. Tu veux dire salut au YouTuber? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> uh, what does it say? Distribution. Yeah, well. The yellow is, of course, it means gold, golden. <laughs> okay, people, look, here's another one. They're from England. Look, ah, it doesn't focus. Okay, you see the G? Freemasons on between the square and compass. And they even made a square in it in the G. You see that? Yeah. A little square in it. It's not a coincidence. English. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the rest of the G is like a circle, you know, the compass and a little square in it. So everybody reads the square and compass, eh? Guideline. Well, I don't need your guideline for this. I, I know it. I'm your guideline. Okay, it's a road. Okay. Yes? Well, uh, do, what would you like to know? What would you like to know? That is a bit difficult. Well, you just told me that the, the war in Algeria, uh, there was a war between French and French, not okay, against Arab. Uh, oh, well, it was, uh, yes, it was French against French people. And don't forget that at that time, the Algerian people, the, uh, well, the Muslims, had the French nationality. Yeah. So you were a pilot and flying the Corsair? Yes, indeed. And because you didn't like... Uh, so you didn't like this war and you... Um, well, I, it's not you, I you, didn't like the war, because I, I, I was... I think that the independence was just a word, and it, as it was shown later, uh, it was just for the profit of some... Uh, of the young people, and they tried to. Well, we, you had a, a lot of propaganda uh, to to convince the the people that uh, if they were with the French people, it would be bad. And 
and it was horrible because don't remember you have to remember that uh, uh, de Gaulle came at the power to to save the Algerie Francais, the French Algeria, and his. Uh, well, I don't know how you say in English "l'homme donné." Quoi? <laughs> l'homme donné de quelqu'un. L'homme. L'homme donné. Ah, the soul. Uh, well, the soul, yes, but uh, it, well, it's a, it's a, a French uh, typical, but, but because he was uh, Michel Debré was to exactly the slave of de Gaulle. Yeah. He was, the, he was the prime minister, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. After, but before de Gaulle came, well, he came to, well, he said, well, you see, it's a shame the French Algeria will not be more French and they will give to the terrorist independence. Uh, yeah. In fact, he was right, but he said, now, if, if you vote for me, no, he didn't say that, but if De Gaulle said, if you vote for De Gaulle, you will see Algeria will be big French forever. Yeah. So you also knew the colonel, um, he was in the same school who tried to kill De Gaulle? Uh, well, I didn't know him very well, but he was an elder, he was a, some, uh, well, seven years older than me. What, what was his name again? Uh, Bastien Thierry. Bastien Thierry, right. But uh, he, oh, he, oh, well, petit, we, petit we were the same uh, school for engineers. Ah, okay. Ironic, aeronautical engineers. But, anyway. but you, you also went to Saint-Cyr? No. Okay. No, but he didn't go to Saint-Cyr. He went to Polytechnic. But yeah. you see, well, it's a bit uh, complicated, intricate yeah. to explain what, exactly. What, what was your rank in the in the uh, as when you were a pilot? Uh, I was a, well. I, I was a, an officer. Yes. Well, but when I began, I was the lowest, <laughs> the Lieutenant. lowest grade, of course. But after I I climbed a little bit. But I didn't stay very long in uh, in Algeria. You were a captain. No, I will, uh, but uh, uh, after just at the uh, at the end, I was not even a captain. I was a lieutenant because, well, I was young. Yeah. I, I I remained only five years, so it was not very much. And then, and then you said this is a bad war. It's it's not no, just. No, it is not. It is not because the war was bad. I think the war was not so bad. <laughs> what was bad? It was. The politics, uh, which uh, they had, they were a tr 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 traitors to the to the people who wanted to become to to remain friends, and it was terrible because they knew that uh, if you if you were an Algerian, a Muslim, and if you wanted to stay, and the other one, the Filaga. The Felaga, they killed them, but they killed them horribly. Well, they took the skin off. They uh, tear the, uh, they took the the eyes out and so on. It was really horrible. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and the goal, after having said, well, the French, the Algeria will remain French forever. Uh, and when he said, no, but after we'll, we'll discuss with them, discuss, and we thought, he, because he was lying, we thought that uh, he, it was just uh, to discuss, to, to please you, you and system. But in fact, he had in mind to get rid of Algeria, because Algeria was, a, well, it, it, it was, Good for France, for a time, but it was also a financial burden. Yeah, it's, uh, I understand it. You know, the aristocracy of Europe, they gave the land of the Pieds Noirs, the French, to the aristocracy, the Arab aristocracy, like the Caliph and the Sultan. We were, 
Okay, uh, thank you for the interview. How old are you? No, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm 84. <laughs> oh, wow, 84. <laughs> but at that time, when I, when I went uh, to Algiers, well, to, to the French Navy as a, uh, as a pilot, I was uh, 21. <laughs> so he was an officer pilot in a, on a French aircraft carrier? It, yes. Exactly. The goal? Uh, uh, oh, no, but it, it, it was not yet the no. goal. It, it was a, the, the old uh, aircraft carrier yes. which was given by the American after the war. Oh, okay. We, I was on the Lafayette. Lafayette, yeah. La Romanche, well, that was in the English uh, one. Yeah. Lafayette, Le Bois Below. Okay, thank you for the interview. Welcome. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. Whom Adinia Nada Rogum Squos to Man Cremnisti Put Blisti. Ночь тихо, пустуня в ним нет Богу, и звездом, звездою говорит, и звездом, звездою говорит. Oh, beautiful, nice. In the Misach, Tarjestvenno hit Shuno, Speed Zimlia, Siani Galubum, Stohim, Ne, Tak Bolno, Tak Trudno, Zdulcevum, Valie Julia Chom. Dulce vom, valie Julia. Super, nice. So you grew up in Mos Moscow because your father was a, in, working at the embassy. Yes, he was a he, he was a military attaché. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you're all in the military, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's a well, it's a, a tradition in the family. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome, comme on dit. <laughs>